Nobody thought the war and its effects would last half a century for Poland. First, Germany attacks. Then, Soviet Russia. We don't give up, despite being left on our own. We create an underground state, complete with a government, an army, schools, and courts. We suffer two occupations. The Germans murder millions of Polish civilians. The Soviets deport Poles in cattle cars to gulags in the east. They shoot over 20,000 officers during the Katyn massacre. And hundreds of thousands of Poles are forced into slave labor in the inhuman lands of the Soviet Union. Our army is reborn, moving west, where our soldiers are already fighting alongside the Allies. We conquer Monte Cassino. Our fighters wreak havoc and fear by air too. The Germans call us Black Devils as we crush their resistance. Paratroopers make their way to occupied Poland to support the underground state, while our counterintelligence acquires secret plans of the enemy. There are Poles who save Jews, despite the threat of the death penalty. We create resistance movements, even within the German concentration camps. We are the first to alert the world about the Holocaust. Though politics appear to be more important than human lives, and nobody listens to us. Polish Jews fight the Germans in the Warsaw Ghetto without even a chance for success. Our nation comes up from the underground and fights in the Warsaw Uprising. Break the German Enigma code, saving millions of lives. But in exchange for all that we do, we are betrayed. The free world distances itself from us, leaving us behind the Iron Curtain. Despite our scars from the war, we still resist. The Pope gives us strength. Workers' strikes spread throughout Poland. The Communists lose. The Iron Curtain falls. The war is over. We prevail. Because we do not beg for freedom, we fight for it. <laughs>